Money always got me feeling big, yeah. In the trap top zooming. Yo, 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 what's up, guys? It's Erp here. In today's video, I'll show you guys how to make that crazy number build up slash kill effect. It is really easy to make, and the only parts you will have to have for this tutorial is the Sapphire and Magical Lux plugins. But basically, other than that, let's get right into the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is to seek up the clip with the music and time wrap it. Hopefully you guys know how to do that because I already done it. I will link an amazing tutorial on that in the description if you don't know how to do that. But now we'll start off by making the build up. Basically go to effects and drag in the adjustment clip. Then go to shot of impact. That's the first thing we see the numbers appear. For me it's right here. And make so the adjustment clip ends right there. So we just drag and make it shorter. And now from the shot of impact go 50 frames to the left. So, right here, and make so that I just clip starts right there. So, you just drag it and make it shorter. Now, I will show you guys how to use looks and how to make your own looks. Many comments wanted that, so I will quickly show how to do that right now. If this video gets 50 likes, I will do a full on tutorial on how to use looks. But let's go to open effects and search up looks. Drag and drop it on just one clip. Go to effects and press edit look. What you want to do now is we will color isolate kind of the shark there. And as we see, the shark is blue right there. So what we'll do, we'll take our HSL colors, drag and drop in Sophia, and colors, uh, it will be in post. So basically, and it should look something like this. Press on the HSL colors. And as we said, I said, for me, the shark is blue, as you see, guys. So I, what I will do, I will go to use slash saturation and drag every color down like this besides blue but I probably want them to be a bit darker and a bit bluer so kind of this you have to play around but I'll drag probably drag this down and drag this up a bit so kind of like this I think this is really good you can also play around with this even more but I think this looks pretty good now go to carbs and drag this bottom kind of down like this and the sabo kind of up and then in the middle try kind of more down so it looks something like this i really like this look this looks really good but basically what you want to do now is basically you need to save this look because you will need it later basically press on this like save button down here name it a uh, tutorial blue Herpy, I'll name it, I'll leave it down in the description if you want exactly the same as me. But then basically save it to which folder you want. I'll probably create a new folder and make it maybe Herpy be the folder may name probably will be Herpy just. Uh, press save and now you're basically done. You will need this later. But basically now press on this check mark down here. And you'll see the look up here. If it doesn't appear, make sure that you have no keyframes up here. And if it still doesn't appear, drag the strength to zero and then to 100 again. Then what you want to do is if you hover the, over the adjustment clip, you should see two rectangular fingers in the corner. Take the one to the left and drag to the right. Kind of like this. Then right click on the adjustment clip and turn around the cat color output. That will basically make the list laggy. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I think the fade-in is a bit too slow, so I'll just drag it a bit to the left like that. But now, basically, remember I said that you need to save that look? Basically, what you will do is you will go to Shot of Impact again, so the first thing you see the numbers appear. Press Ctrl B to split the clip right there. Then hold Alt and drag that clip up a way. That will basically just create a copy. What you will need to do now is drag looks on the copy we create, just created. Go to effects and drag, press edit loop. And now the folder you created or where you saved it. So I created a folder called RP and here we see tutorial blue. That will be the same look. So we'll just press on it and press on check mark. For me it does appear so I will just take away the keyframe and see that it will just look like this. Basically what you need to do now, we will do kind of a shockwave effect right now. So what you need to do now is you need to find where you think the you want the shockwave like if it be done. So I think I want it somewhere here about um, 30 frames to the right. Use looks good from the shot of impact. Zoom out and make so the ends right there, so like this. And what you will do now is basically hover over the copy and go to color tab. Inside of here, you need to go to the circle with four dots and press on this like, circle thingy. If it doesn't become transparent, so it does, didn't do that for me, go to nodes, so just press on nodes if you don't see it. Right click anywhere and press add off output and connect it like this. 
and it should become transparent like this but we see that the wrong part is like colored so we just press on this thingy and we see that it became like this basically what we'll do now is go to the last frame with this red cursor so right here keyframe the correct one to mark the bit and make so the circle covers the whole screen then go to the beginning and drag so the circles were small so something like this and then untick this uh, keyframe and drag it up the softness quite a bit so something like this i think that looks quite cool actually but what we'll do now is go to effects delete this looks and drag an adjustment clip and make it to starch on the shoulder frame but make sure that you can't make it shorter because that will mess up the preset hover over it go to the fusion tab then go down in description in description i should have left a, a google drive folder basically go to that google drive folder and download the preset i left basically just drag and drop it like this and connect it uh, like this go to edit tab again right click render cache and and if you think that i just noticed that i think the shockwave effect is a bit too slow you can make it fast basically disable the adjustment real quick go back to the copy clip go to to the color tab and simply drag over the, both of the keyframes and drag them to the left and that will basically make the process faster go to edit tab again and so i think that looks really cool basically that's it for today's video if you enjoyed please consider it drop a like drop me a sub and see you guys in the next video bye